Hey kids, welcome back. Welcome back to yet another session of sorting of materials into groups. I hope you remember what we learned in part 1. So today we are going to learn about properties of various materials. Or you can say we are going to learn how materials can be classified. Materials are classified on the basis of the following properties. Their appearance, hardness, solubility, heaviness or lightness and lastly transparency. Let's learn about them in details. First comes appearance. On the basis of appearance, materials can be either lustrous or non-lustrous. Lustrous materials are also called shiny materials and they reflect a lot of light. You can see the lustrous materials from a far off distance. Examples are like glass, CD, gold ring, silver coin, steel spoon, etc. Non lustrous objects are also called dull materials and they do not reflect any light or they reflect very less amount of light. Examples are like candle, chalk, brick, teddy bear, wooden spoon, etc. Next comes hardness. On the basis of hardness, objects are of two types hard or soft. Hard materials are those which are rough to touch and they do not break easily. For example, a helmet, a steel or any metallic spoon, a piece of rock, a monument made out of stone, etc. Soft objects are soft to touch and they are flexible. Examples, teddy bear, a pillow, rubber band, a piece of sponge, etc. Next comes solubility. On the basis of solubility, materials are of two types. They can be either soluble or insoluble. Let me give you an example. If you are taking a spoon of sugar and you mix it with water, what do you acquire? You acquire a glass of sugar solution. So, you acquire a sugar solution because sugar is a material that is soluble in water. In the same time, if you take a spoonful of sand and you try to mix it in water, what will you acquire? You will acquire no solution. Reason, sand is insoluble in water. So, similarly, there are also some of the gases which are soluble in water like oxygen, CO2, etc., whereas some gases are insoluble in water. There are also some liquids which are soluble in water, like if you take the juice of a lemon, then it is soluble in water, whereas if you take oil, it is insoluble in water. So, there are all the three states of matter are either soluble or insoluble in water. Next comes heaviness. Here we are learning about heaviness with respect to water. With respect to water, objects can be classified as either heavy objects or light objects. Heavy objects, as you know, do sink in water whereas light objects float on water. Let's see some examples. Examples of heavy objects include a piece of key, a rock, a penny, a spoon, a pair of scissors, etc. Whereas light objects which float are like a piece of leaf, a feather, an apple, etc. Next comes, which is the last part, is transparency. On the basis of transparency, materials are of three types transparent, translucent and opaque. Transparent objects allow all the light to pass through them. So we can see through transparent objects clearly and easily. 
Examples are a glass window pan, a glass of clear water, etc. Translucent objects allow some light to pass through them or you can say they allow light to pass through them partially and we can see through them partially. Examples are like sunglasses, a piece of polythene, butter paper, etc. Finally comes opaque objects. They do not allow any light to pass through them. Thus, we cannot see through them. Examples, a brick wall, cardboard, etc. So, with this, we end the chapter sorting of materials into groups. I hope all the concepts are now clear to you. Thank you kids. Take care. Ta-ta.